Hi guys, it's Anna. I don't think I've ever been more excited to film a video than I am to film this video because we are gonna be making a rug. So for a quick little backstory, about two years ago, I purchased this rug tufting gun because I do this thing where I see someone else who has this hobby and does this cool thing online and I decide that I have to do that thing as well. And rug tufting was one of those things two years ago for me. And I did make a rug actually, I'll show you. So I made this rug which is like a little baby rug. And I think it's actually super cool. I like it, but it's a little bit, you know, it's a little messy. Like I have a weird, I used a weird yarn here. So it's like thicker and weirder. Um, and it's just not super clean. And I just, this sits in my attic, which is really sad. I kind of, like, I don't hate it. I maybe would put it on the wall or something maybe, but I feel like the size of it, like since it's so small, it's not like a floor rug. So it would have to go on the wall, I guess. But yeah, I made this rug and it's not terrible, but this was the one and only thing that I made with that rug tufting gun, which was like 200 something dollars, I think. So I've decided to resurrect the rug tufting gun and we're gonna be making a rug, but this rug is going to be gigantic because if you didn't see this, this is a rug tufting frame and it's, giant so my dad and i made this frame and i can put a link in the description to where we got like the inspiration to make the frame and the guy who we kind of made it after i guess but i honestly just sent the video to my dad and was like hey can we make something like this and he kind of just did his own thing to be honest so it's a little bit different but there are tons of videos out there showing like how to make a frame if you want to do that but we went to lowe's and we got the wood and all the materials and stuff and we made it and i swear i did actually help a little bit i didn't just stand there recording him but i'm not really known for my carpentry skills so there wasn't like a ton that i could do but i did i did help in the ways that I could, I swear. And then I also got the cloth that you put on the frame and that's on it right now. We did that. And I say we kind of loosely again. If it looks like I just kind of stood there, watched him do it, that's cause I kind of did do that. He kind of did it all. But I think I had the design that I want to do like all drawn out and stuff on my iPad. But I want to give credit to Mush Studios, which is like a rug tufting brand. And that is where I got like 90% of my inspiration for this rug. So I'll put like some pictures on the screen of their stuff definitely go check it out on instagram like i love their rugs they're just so visually pleasing i'm obsessed with them and i got so much inspiration from them but this is the design i'll put it on the screen also because i think it's getting like a little washed out here but this is kind of what i'm going for and i'll be so honest with you i spent like two hours working on this last night and every time i look at it i'm like is that ugly like is that horrendous or is that cool? And sometimes I think, oh my God, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. That's so cool. That's gonna look so awesome on your floor. And then I go away for 10 minutes and come back and look at it. And I'm like, what have you done? And if you think this rug is ugly, I need you to just keep that one to yourself because I genuinely don't think I can handle it. Because after this rug is done, I will have spent so much money, time and effort working on it. And I just will like literally crumble to pieces if someone tells me it's ugly because part of me thinks that it is kind of ugly. And I'm also moving in two weeks and this is gonna be like the centerpiece of my room. So it's gotta be pretty, okay? And if it's not pretty, then you still need to tell me that it is pretty. Do we understand? What we need to do here so anyway i think all i need to do now is get the yarn so i'm about to go to get my yarn my hair is wet by the way it's not greasy but i do need to brush it so just don't look i think i figured out about how much i need of each color i did like some photoshop stuff then i saw this girl on youtube do like a she showed how much yarn she needed to make like a square foot basically and so i think i figured it out i've done the math but could be wrong. So we're just gonna cross our fingers here and hope for the best. And my Michaels is just like really bad and they have no yarn and I don't have like a Joann's close to me. So we're gonna have to get creative and just see what they have. But yeah, it's time to go to the yarn store and get some yarn for this. yarn and i didn't get exactly the colors i needed because a like there's just not a yarn color for every single color in existence and i just picked like random colors when i was drawing out the design and b my michael sucks which i said earlier um and they had like no yarn so i found this pink is the closest i could find to the pink 
in my drawing and they only had four of these and I needed five. So I think I'm gonna have to change up the drawing to use less pink because that'll be bad if I run out because it's not like I can even go back to Michael's and get more like we're out. I guess I could order more, but I don't wanna do that. So I think I'm gonna have to change the drawing to adjust for the amount of pink. I also got some poke and a smoothie. So I'm gonna eat slash drink this and um, then we'll get to work. But food comes first, okay? Okay, so it's been a little bit and I spent a while working over the design and fixing it so that it uses less pink so it works with how much yarn I have and I hope that I've calculated everything right and that I have enough yarn. Very scared that I didn't, but there's only one way to find out. So now is when I am gonna project the design onto the cloth and then just with Sharpies like trace the design so then I can tuft the design. So we're gonna do that. But I need to close the blinds so it's dark. So one sec. Okay, as you can see, I did my outline. Let me move back. So there's the whole outline. It looks so cool. And I put like the initials of each color so that I don't accidentally put the wrong color in the wrong spot, you know? I watched a couple videos and honestly, I think we should just jump into it. Like, I think I should just go for it. I just kind of want to do it. And so, yeah. I wound my yarn into cakes so that it can like easily pull from the center so I don't have any tangles or anything. And then it's like looped up here, if you can see that. And so now I need to thread the gun. Okay, the gun is threaded and also the sun's going down. So if it gets a little gross, the lighting, then I apologize. But I think I'm just gonna do a little test part in like the areas where I'm not doing anything. Like down here maybe I'll do a little tester just to practice a little bit because I'm kind of scared. Okay, it's on. Okay. Okay, I think I did it. Okay, oh, okay. All right, I feel good now. Let's do the real thing. Also look at the beautiful sunset outside. Okay, I did a little bit more. I don't know if you can even see that, but I think the tension was just too much using these hooks. So now I'm just going like straight from the balls of yarn or the cakes. This part's kind of hard, like this angle. So we'll see how that goes. I'm about to take a little break from tufting, but I just wanted to give you a little update on the progress. So as you can see, I'm done with all of the pink and the yellow. So I just have to do the brown and the blue. And I used every last bit of the yellow yarn, which also, by the way, the more I look at the yellow yarn, the more I'm feeling like it's not actually yellow. Like it looks kind of more like a beige cream color, but I guess that's a shade of yellow. I don't know. This is all I have left of the pink. So I guess that was a good calculation, except I calculated that I would have more than this left over. So, but it worked out, it was fine. I was having some trouble with the tension. Like if you look here, the tension, like it just looks really bad there. And it looked good over here. This is when I first started. Um, and I think I figured it out. I'm still kind of having some trouble with the yarn like pulling out of the gun while I'm working, but it's getting better. So I feel like like this tension's a lot more uniform. Um, and so I think it looks a little bit neater. I'm still kind of figuring it out though. But yeah, that's kind of how it's looking. I'm really happy. Those are all my 
my mistake things where I was just like practicing because the tension was so bad. But anyway, we are improving, we are learning and growing and the rug is looking so cool. Like it looks super cool. So now I just have to do brown and blue and the pink, that was my largest area. So I've already done the largest area. Now it's just brown and blue. So I guess I'll just update you as I continue to work on this. I think I'm about to go out to dinner, but I think Maybe later tonight, I will get back to it. Okay, here's a little update on how the rug is going. I'm doing the brown now. And I think the issue with like the tension of the yarn, I think that was just the actual yarn itself because I was using both of the colors, the yellow and the pink, both of those were um, impeccable yarn from the Michaels brand. And this, the brown is now Red Heart Super Saver and it's going so much more smoothly. It has not pulled out of the gun once. So crisis averted. I know now to never purchase the Michaels brand, like the impeccable, is it Michaels brand? I don't know. The impeccable yarn, acrylic yarn, trash for this. Don't do it. But the main reason I am drawing your attention is because I've come to a bit of a realization. So just think for a second, like, does this remind you of anything? Maybe the color scheme, maybe a food, a dessert of some sort. I think I've made a Neapolitan ice cream rug, not on purpose. And I'm trying to think if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't, I don't know, but it really actually doesn't matter because I'm not undoing anything. So I have a Neapolitan ice cream rug for the moment. But I still have to add blue, so like, it shouldn't, right? It shouldn't. I think once I add the blue, it'll all come together and it will lose the Neapolitan look. Okay guys, the time has come and I finally finished all of the tufting. So this is how it's looking. All of the tufting is done. The blue turned out a little bit darker than I was wanting it to, but I think it looks so good all together. Like I'm really, really happy. So this next step is probably gonna be like a little bit more tedious because I have to go in and shave like the whole thing just to get it like an even height. And then also like go in, I don't know if you can see this, but there's like little spots where the wrong color is kind of bleeding into another color and it just looks a little bit messy. So I'm gonna have to go in and pick out all of those random pieces and just make it look a little bit more neat. been two days I think since we last spoke and in those two days I've spent an ungodly amount of time carving this rug but I'm pleased to say that it's actually finally done from far away it probably doesn't even look any different to you but to me at least like once you get close up and look at like in between all the different colors where I carved them out and stuff I feel like it just looks so much neater and more professional and just like so much smoother. And I literally went into every single edge, basically, with tweezers, pulling out every single piece that was kind of like blending in with the other side. So this this was a lot of time. A lot of time went into this, and I'll be honest, I don't think enough changed for it to be worth all that time, but it looks incredible to me. I feel like it looks so good. So next step is carpet glue. Basically, my plan is gonna be to like just slather this on on the other side to keep all the fibers in place. Cause right now, like I could just pull them out. Like it's not stuck. So you have to glue the back so it stays in place. And what I've seen a lot of people do, which doesn't fully make sense to me, is they put the glue on the rug, let it completely dry. And then they put, they use another adhesive to put the backing fabric on the back of the rug. And I'm just thinking, why don't we just kill two birds with one stone 
put the rug glue on the back and then immediately put the backing fabric on the back attached with the rug glue, right? I'm just doing it basically is what I'm saying. And I don't understand why nobody else does, but that's the plan. I put something down on the floor, so I'm not gonna ruin my carpet, don't worry guys. But we're just gonna start gluing. Very exciting news to share with you. The news is that I finished the rug. But let me just show you the rug. That's what you that's what you really want to see. Isn't this just the most beautiful thing that you've ever seen with your eyes? And it's so clean. Not to pat myself on the back, but like I did a good job here, okay? It's nice and clean. Like, I mean, it's a little bit. I mean, I think it looks really good, okay? I think it looks good. This is soft and cool and I'm just so excited. And this isn't the permanent location. It's just here like to show you what it looks like. But um, I'm gonna be moving like I said earlier and this is gonna go in my room and I'm so excited. I'm planning on doing a whole video on like decorating my room and a room tour type thing. So you'll see this bad boy. I'm just kind of in love with it to be honest. Like I made this drawing on my iPad and now it's a 3D physical object. Oh, let me show you the back, by the way. That's what the back looks like, in case you're curious. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different than my usual crochet stuff, but I love like finding new hobbies and stuff, and this was super fun. And it turned out so pretty, and it's gonna be in my room, and it's like a piece of decor that I now own, and I'm so excited. So hopefully this was inspirational for you. I'll put like links to the things that I'm using and stuff, um, if I can find it. If you want to get into rug making, there's tons of resources on YouTube that I watched that were super helpful. So definitely check those out if this is something you might be interested in. Like I said, I'm going to be doing that room tour video in like the next two to three weeks maybe. So keep an eye out for that. That'll be really fun because I love like decorating stuff. So, and you'll get to see this rug like in my new space where it's going to end up, you know? This is like, this is a temporary home. It's going to be in its home home in like a few weeks and you'll see it but thank you guys so much for watching again make sure you subscribe like leave a little comment if you want but i will see you in my next video which should be next week fingers crossed if i stay on schedule but yeah thank you guys love you bye